It's one of the noblest professions in the world. A job that has inspired some of our favourite TV shows such as ER, Grey's Anatomy and Scrubs. And now, more Singaporeans will be able to join the ranks of Doc Ross and Gang. A third medical school will see its first intake of 50 students in 2013. A tie-up between NTU and Imperial College London, the new medical school will educate students on the healthcare of tomorrow. The choice of partner also sets the path. And uh, Provost Bertil says NTU and Imperial are soulmates. And what he was alluding to was that both have very strong engineering expertise. For those of you who know Imperial College, it started out that way. But in recent years, they have developed their medical expertise to have, and they are very concentrated on focus on how devices or technology can impact healthcare. In terms of little devices, for example, you know, ECG is the size of a watch that you can walk about with, uh, DNA testing, etc., etc. So, I suspect that uh, that will be a key focus down the road. And Provost Berti also talked about health economics because NTU has a very good business school and health economics is an important area. But these are good to have and I think they should have. But the bottom line is when NTU starts, they must focus on building good doctors that Singaporeans can trust. With NUS almost reaching its maximum intake of 300 students a year, the new medical school will help introduce more doctors to cater to our ageing population. But the NTU Medical School also aims to set itself apart from NUS Yong Lu Lin School of Medicine. It should also be a different medical degree. We should not duplicate what NUS has done very well for many years. So we have to educate for the health care of tomorrow. And health care is developing very rapidly, as the ministers uh, said. I think we, they have to know what is, is a bacteria, what is a kidney, but they also have to know, know management. Healthcare costs a lot, and they actually going to also have to spend some time in our business school to understand how do you deal to keep the costs down, how to run a clinic efficiently, health economics. How do we cure patients in tomorrow? We know that you have to learn about pills and pharmacology and so on. But how today we cure patients by engineering, hip replacements, stints and so on. So the interface between medicine and engineering is also going to be very important. The Imperial College NTU Medical School will be working closely with the National Healthcare Group and Tan Tok Seng Hospital for its clinical training and will take in 150 undergraduates in subsequent years. In the next clip, find out what's in store for normal academic and normal technical students.